American democracy urgently needs repair. We all know that. But in 2018, something remarkable happened. In the face of voter suppression, long lines, broken machines, of rigged gerrymandered districts and dark money, the people spoke. We saw the highest voter turnout since 1914. Scores of candidates running and rejecting PAC money, and maybe most encouraging of all, citizens themselves voted for ballot measures all across the country to strengthen the systems of self-government. Make no mistake, the voters were clear. The best way to respond to attacks on democracy is to strengthen democracy. I think we saw the beginning of a democracy movement in this country. So will the politicians heed this shout for change? So far, there's good news. The very first bill, the new Congress, the new House of Representatives will take up, HR1, is bold democracy reform. It's a big deal. What do we think is going to be in it? First, automatic voter registration, a transformative change in the way we run elections. It would add tens of millions of people to the rolls, cost less, and improve security. It's the law already in 15 states. This would make it the law of the land. Then there's the urgent need to curb the role of big money in American politics. Small donor public financing offers the best chance to give ordinary citizens the loudest voice, even in the face of super PACs and dark money and Citizens United. It would change Congress and it would change politics. Then there's a guarantee of early voting all across the country, steps to secure voting machines from hacking by Russia or anybody else, and a guarantee to move forward, a commitment to restore the Voting Rights Act the country's most successful civil rights law that was gutted by the United States Supreme Court in 2013. And we all saw the consequences in Georgia this time with the naked racism of the way the election was run there. This is all adding up to a big, big positive change. But it isn't easy. It's not going to be easy. Vested interests don't like this. A lot of politicians behind closed doors don't like it either. That's what's up to all of us. That's where we, the people, come in. We need to urge this change. We need to insist on it. We need to make sure that elected officials respond to the voice of the public. Our country was founded in the Declaration of Independence on the idea that was radical then and now as well, that government's legitimate only when it rests on the consent of the governed. This bold and innovative plan gives a real chance, the best in half a century, to move the state of our democracy to the center of American politics where it belongs. Please join us.